He say, she say, we say, I say Hearing out them points of views when I see it my way Yes it goes, yes it knows, maybe so's, probably not Shills and coulds, do's and don'ts, your woods and won'ts is how you rock Politicians and religions on your house or are you written? Is you married, is you single, met an interest when you mingle Turn out to be someone you into, so how long before the bed get wrinkled? When they trippin', is it time out or do you whip them? Opinions and decisions, hunches, intuitions May or may not get it, cause people's experience different Check the prejudice, set the dope Speak the time you give the flow Tell the truth if it's sweet or sour Cause the hour we spit that fire What it do, 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 what it do. Oh my goodness, y'all. I tell you the truth. I, I was wondering what my fire had. I knew nobody didn't put my fire out. I knew it ain't rain where my fire got put out. What it do, y'all? Why is everybody in the damn bushes? Okay, why is y'all in the bushes? Don't be scared. I've been making motherfuckers mad on this internet streets. Don't be scared. Make sure y'all get the like button. Y'all, y'all be doing me bad about these lights. Y'all do me bad about these lights now. Y'all do me bad about these lights. Okay? Y'all, y'all got to do better than that. I'm going to put it to where I can see the numbers. I ain't got it to where I can see the numbers. I'm going to set it up where I can see the numbers. Now, let's get into it because y'all been waiting for about five minutes, four minutes or something like that. Let's get into it. Um... Well, we know the number one celebrity troll is 50 Cent. We know that. I ain't even got a um a thumbnail up yet for this. I just came on live. I said I do the damn thumbnail when I finish with the damn uh commentary. All right, how about that? Hello, hello, come on in here. We waiting on y'all to come on in here while we talk our shot this afternoon. It's free weekend. What y'all doing for the holiday weekend? I got to go to the meat market tomorrow and get some stuff. To get ready for my Easter dinner and things of that nature. I hope y'all do the same thing. Make sure y'all have some safe fun and enjoyment time on Easter, okay? Resurrection Sunday. And make sure y'all sit up there and you get the kids going to church. I want you guys to stop putting them kids in all that got doggone Belasiaga and stop putting them in all that name brand stuff. Cheering or cheering, okay? I want to see the little girl, little boys in their Easter suit. Okay, you know, an Easter or used to have a sailor suit. All right, some of y'all say that's outdated. Bring keep tradition the same. All right, I want the little girls in the big old pretty pink, yellow, and sky blue dresses with the ruffle socks and and and, and, and your slippy slide patent leather shoes. That's the that's the image of Easter with your Shirley Temple curls. That's what Easter look like with the Easter basket purse to match the, you know, the shawl. You're supposed to look like that on Easter. Y'all just, y'all newbies done just messed up Easter. Whew, y'all just done messed it up. Now, what I will say is 50 Cent done sat up there and been trolling Diddy for so long. I don't know what really happened. I can't really recall what happened between 50 and Diddy to make uh, 50 troll Diddy like that. Like, he been trolling Diddy for a long time. And I'm talking about he been speaking out on him on all these uh, radio shows for a long time. The Breakfast Club. I mean, he been really clowning Diddy. But you know what, though? It's go, it's go backfire. Not because, and again, I'm not taking up for Diddy, but it's just, we just don't do people like that. It's going to backfire on 50. So, but let's see. Now, Stevie J, we know Stevie J from, you know, being a producer and working with different artists. And, you know, he worked with Diddy and all this type of stuff and, and bad boys and, you know, had some hits. And, and then on Love and Hip Hop took off and he'd been the number one reality, uh, you know, uh, star, you know what I'm saying, and you know the the, the the creep squad of love and hip hop and all that kind of stuff, right? And so, you know, he got a baby with Jocelyn Hernandez, and 
all this kind of stuff, right? He's also was in, I think that he did some work with Kwame Brown about a year or two ago with Angela Stanton and all this. And they got together and they did some stuff. Well, let me tell y'all something. So let's first, before we even get into the, the meat and potatoes of this, because this is just regular celebrity gossip. I ain't finna sit up there and lecture y'all about no cultural obligation today, all right? Because y'all just, if you ain't gonna get it, you ain't gonna get it. So now we gonna get into some celebrity gossip, right? So here we is, let's see. Here we is, we gonna sit up there and look at this. Now this is from Instagram from 50 Cent, right? Oh, what is she? I showed the wrong one. Okay, here we go. This is Instagram from 50 Cent, right? And uh, this is what he put. Now, y'all know he's been putting up shit like this forever. Fucking with Diddy. Like, he's been fucking with Diddy quite a bit, right? Yeah. And look at that. He just, been, he just been doing all kinds of stuff, right? Just messing with him and all this and all that. Now, I can't go through all of his stuff because some of his stuff he play music in. And... Uh, he plays so much music and it's crazy. Now, look what he doing now. So he said, everybody seen Jay. So now he's kind of a little low key fucking with Jay-Z a little bit. So he fucking with all Puffy. of them now. He, he fucking with all of them now, right? Now he did, I don't want to go to political parts of it because that's going to be a little later. And he's been doing a whole lot of stuff. So I'm like, oh, he's fucking with them and everything. Now, did, he go really be fucking with everybody. Like, that's just what Diddy do, right? I mean, that's what um 50 Cent do. He just fucks with Diddy all while he can. He gonna be fucking with Jay-Z in a minute, too. He gonna fuck with all of them, right? All of them. Now, look at this. Let's see. He was at the uh, Star... Thing with with which jiggle so let's see he was there this is about a week ago and all that kind of stuff with snoop dogg and all of them okay and that's what it's gonna be right but then he sits up here and he just been going at diddy strong right going at diddy strong so let's go back up to what he had to say because we're going to see if this see so then after he went for diddy he let me see he said this okay so he put this up here and he said mr Combs had hidden cameras in every room of his home his recording of several celebrity artists music label executives and athletes engaged in their illegal activity we don't know what that illegal activity is but here's the thing you got several celebrity artists and music executives with athletes engaged and athletes engaging in illegal activity. These individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent. Okay, so now they're trying to make it seem like it's on Puffy. But you but you can't not see this is where I'm talking about how we want to have the selective outrage. Now let's let's break this down. Right? Let's break this down. Let's see if I can, I'm trying to see if I can blow it up a little more, okay? Oh, oh no, that's going down. Okay, y'all gonna be able to see some of the stuff on the side, but I wanted to see if I could be able to blow it up a little more. Now, you see how they saying, okay, they may have gotten in trouble and doing some of the leak, but we gonna find a way to put it all on Puffy on. Now, if y'all don't know, um, Suge Knight said that the raid was to get all that information out of Puffy's possession, Puffy possession, so they won't be able to use it against them. That I believe that, y'all. I believe that. I believe. I believe that. Right. I for some reason. I don't think Suge is wrong. Suge said that that raid had nothing to do with Puffy. That was for the powers that be. He said that was for the powers that be to get the in possession of the shit that they were involved in with the freak offs. And remember, for the last three, four days, I was like, no, everybody get it. That's what I've been saying, right? I've been I haven't been saying nothing about innocence or guilty of P. Diddy. 
I have been saying every get everybody, no immunity, everybody get it. But they don't want everybody. They want Diddy. It's like, okay, we're not going to say you did nothing wrong. We just go place it on Diddy. Right? So let's read this shit again. Because it doesn't make sense. And remember I told you, don't be the 65%. Right? Let's make let's make sense of this shit. Let's pull let's pull the common sense and the truth out. Mr. Combs had hidden cameras in every room of his home. It's his house. It's his house. So you got to be careful when you go in people's house. It's his shit. Now, okay. Has recordings of several celebrities, artists, music label executives, and athletes engaging in illegal activity. In illegal activity. All right. First of all, crime 101. If you want to engage in illegal activity, you may not do it at nobody's house where you don't know if you're being recorded or you may not do it in the company of somebody. But it, that, that just don't make no sense to so and so. Okay, now listen to this next sentence. Now we got to break this down, the common sense. Now look how they try to do this shit. And y'all fall for it. The dummies on here, the bloggers, the other bloggers, they dumb. They on here and they have put this on. I'm not stupid. Nope, nope, nope. You're not going to say all these people engaged in illegal activity. Whether you record it or not, you shouldn't be engaging in no illegal activity. It's, it's cameras all in, in the police stations too. These individuals were recorded without knowledge and consent. So now they're trying to make it seem like they're innocent. They're trying to exclude all of them that was doing the illegal activity and make it exclude them from puffy get let, 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 let's listen because they did it once to us now we ain't gonna allow them to do it again mr combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his freak off parties and his house parties now freak off parties if they are of age is not a bad thing you got to understand that people keep that in your mind because, you know, it's only a bad thing if somebody there was underage and then we need to know who bought the underage folks there. Right? We got to know who bought the underage folks there because you're not going to tell us what you want to tell us. You can't say engaging in illegal activities, but they were recorded without his consent. That's not the fucking point. You in his house. You don't know who recorded you. You engaged in illegal activities. Whether you've been recorded or not, you shouldn't have been engaging in illegal activities. That's the whole point. But they trying to make them be victims. That's the same thing these Me Too people be doing on these internet streets where women ain't got to be ac accountable for shit. But you see how they do that? Oh, that just was so stuff. But, you know, it is what it is, right? So, <coughs> let me see. So, here, 50 Cent. Now, we just breaking down 50 Cent stuff, right? So 50 Cent was talking about Hitman Stevie J. What the fuck is this mess? Right? And stuff like that. So 50 replied to him and said, get your money, Curtis. We know this entertainment, but ain't no truth to, ain't no truth to that. Right? So he let, this was only just three hours ago. This was just three hours ago, y'all. So, you know, 50 trolling, 50 doing what he doing. And then he was sitting up there showing this, right? So the guy who this was, in this video now here's what i have a problem with if them two are engaging if them two are engaging in um in activities they grown like why the hell Ex anxiety concerning homosexuality it's homose this is what i'm talking about right so 50 said it's not him the person who said it was him did come out and said that's him in the video. That's not uh, Stevie J. He did say that. But, of course, people go run with this saying it's Stevie J. Now, here's what I want to say. Here's what I want to say. 
Eve, okay, so they said, Mr. Coleman said Stevie J and acknowledged Mr. Jones admired to Stevie J to groom and entice Mr. Jones into engaging homo. Ain't nobody got to entice another grown man to do nothing. Like, you get what I'm saying? People grown. Either y'all going to accept homosexuality or you're not. Because if 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 Stevie J was a homosexual, just hypothetical, where is the crime? If this is a grown man and he a grown man and they both men doing homosexual stuff, where is the crime in that? But that's what y'all do. See, that's why I said y'all don't don't fall for this. Don't fall for this because you say homosexuality is a crime. I mean, homosexuality have rights and it's a protected class. But then when it comes to a black man, they tear the shit down and say, you gay. And then they try to say he groomed him. Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with the rapper. Okay. And all this and that. Now, this is not uh, penetrating a Caucasian male. Mr. Combs provided to Mr. Jones. That That's not a crime. That's not a crime to grown men having sex. If they part of the LGBT, that's not a crime. See, that's what I be trying to get people to say. Quit letting them tell y'all what the fuck they want to tell you. Get to the crime, people, okay? Because one minute, y'all, if, if I say something against the LGBT, they'll take my channel down. But then they turn around and they put stuff like this out. Now, which one is it? I keep telling y'all I'm confused, right? So, but the guy said this was not Stevie J. He said that there was, it was uh, him, okay? So we already know that the guy came out and said that. Now, here is what Stevie J had to say. Let's listen. We're going to listen to it twice, okay? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod dick? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't Ooh. duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Oh, Curtis! Cent, Curtis, so what's good, man? Cent, go you and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Go or is it that you sucking little rod dick? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade, nigga. Oh, he wants you to fade. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod dick? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Woo! He called 50 Cent out. Cause you now, now do y'all think 50 Cent can fight? Cause you know those motherfuckers who got a lot of mouth can't fight. Most motherfuckers who got a lot of mouth can't fight. You know what I'm saying? Well, the guy already came out and said it was him. Right? He already came out. But of course, people don't give a damn. They trying to muffle the guy that said it was him. The guy that the, the, already said that was him in the video. That was not no Stevie J. All right. So it is what it is. Right. But the regardless of what it is, it's not a crime if two men having sex. Y'all done set up there and support gay rights. So what's the, what's the purpose? But he said he called out 50 Cent. I want to know what the hell is going to go on. I want to know. What's going to go on? Who going to be doing the fighting? Ooh. Y'all look. Hey. I, I knew this was. It's getting messy, y'all. Like, these damn celebrities is getting messy. Like, you know how. Okay, now listen. Remember when they used to come on TV? They had media training and, you know, what to say and how to conduct themselves. Them niggas is going back to their roots. Like, fuck the professionalism. Let's get it. Like, they like, let's get it. Like, look at Shannon um, Sharp. 
Look at all the comedians fighting each other and going at each other and all this. That social media brings out the worst in a motherfucker. For real, for real, for real. Like social media, like, come on. You know what I'm saying? It's bring, It's like media training, PR training, all that is no more. It's like whatever. It's like let's get it. Everybody is showing their ass. I'm like, damn. Like 50, like 50. Okay. Who do y'all think go win? Put a one in the chat. If 50 and Stevie J win, who y'all think go win? Put a one in the chat for 50. Put a two in the chat for uh Stevie. I mean, just give me, you know what I'm saying? Just just, just let me know. What you, who y'all think go sit up there and, and do something? I should do a doggone poll. I should do a doggone poll on this one. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Um. Let me see. I'm no, I'm gonna do a poll. Y'all ain't gotta put it in there. Let me see. I'm doing a poll right now. Huh? Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. Ooh, wee. Mm, mm, mm. Um. Let me see. The top one fit, yeah, let me see. Who you think will win? I'm trying to see, add an option. Let me see. Um, Stevie J, add option, 50 cent. I don't know if I did this shit right. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to put it there. Uh, uh, I'm trying to, I don't know if I did this shit right. Okay. Um. Yes. If if, if you think Fifty will win, no. If you think Stevie J will win, or you could just you or, or I gave it to you. So many options. You could put in for Fifty Cent or Stevie J, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, y'all getting it in. Woo! Y'all getting it in. Oh my God! I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to. T- I can't wait till I get my office up. I can't wait to show my face again, y'all. Oh, my God, y'all think. Let's look at that shit. Stevie J was like, I'm going to beat. I want the fade, nigga. I'm going to beat your ass. Like, you ain't going to be trolling me like you did goddamn, uh, you know, P. Diddy. P. Diddy won't say. But, you know, he better be careful. If they sitting up there talking about P. Diddy, be sitting up there blowing up cars, 50 better be careful. 50 better be careful, you know, because he's been trolling D- 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 Diddy for a long time. His ass might come up short. He might come up short. I don't know. But I tell you what, though, that shit is good. Let's listen. listen. I want to look at that again, though, y'all. Let's look at this again. Because you know he was with Jocelyn, so you know he, he all about fight. Let's get it. Let's listen to this again. Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little Rod dick? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Ooh, he said, I'm calling you out. Ooh, and then he said, yeah, you know they were talking about, hold on. Okay, so now you know it said that Curtis' baby mama was named was named in uh, the P Diddy shit. Karma, karma, karma. Damn, karma. Fifty talked all that shit, and his baby mama was down with. It. See, that's how P Diddy. Was getting back at 50 for all the shit he was doing. He had his baby mama. 50 talking all his shit. All over the place. And Puffy was freak offing 50 baby's mama. She was doing a freak off with Puffy. Lord Jesus. 
you know what? That is the best revenge. Like, he talking shit on the breakfast club. He talking shit everywhere he go about Diddy. And Diddy was smashing his baby mama. You got to know that's the best fucking revenge, y'all. Like, I'm letting a nigga dog me out publicly, but I got your woman screaming my name privately. Oh, that's some shit. Ooh, that's some spitting fire there, though. That's some spitting fire there, though. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Okay, like, say, for instance, y'all, say, for instance, you 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 trolling the nigga, right? Y'all trolling the nigga. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Michelle Michelle Banks, and I'm gonna use Rochelle Phillips, right? Right. I'm gonna use y'all too, Michelle and Rochelle. Now, what if Rochelle and Rochelle was a beefing? Come on, y'all. And then Michelle was on uh say say for instance Michelle was on the Breakfast Club talking shit about Rochelle. And Michelle was saying all this shit. And then Rochelle, while he on the breakfast club talking shit, Rochelle sitting on Michelle's husband. Woo! Shit! That would be some shit there, wouldn't it? That would be some shit. Woo! That happens. He getting them. P. Diddy was sitting up there while 50 was talking all that shot. 50 was talking that shot. Come on now, y'all. Don't get, I'm, I'm, I'm just, A. Hey, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Come on, y'all. And so we like, Puffy show is quiet. Like Diddy, uh, 50 was going at Diddy for a long time. Puffy was always quiet. I still call him Puffy. Diddy was always quiet and had his woman all along. Had his woman, your his woman, his woman in his paperwork. The <laughs> fifty, you might wanna. <sighs> ah, shit. Look, y'all, don't get a hey, look. That's some hell of a shit there, though. That's some hell of a shit to sit up there and have your baby mama engaging with the person you've been trolling that's the, that's his that was puffy's revenge that was puffy was going to come out with that on 50 you know what i think he was going to do i think he was going to let him keep trolling them and then show up on the red carpet with her I mean, she was a sex worker. She, 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 she probably needed the money. Fifty known for not paying child support. She probably needed the money. She was in the freak offs. Y'all, she was grown. I ain't finna buy that goddamn that damn victimhood. She was grown. She knew what she was doing. She probably was like, hell yeah, I made me some money. I'm going to sell some coochie. Because it's going to be some people on here talking about some. He he trafficked them. These are grown motherfucking people. I ain't buying that. I ain't buying that. I ain't buying that. But then if he did traffic them up, even if he did, that's some goddamn revenge for your ass. I'm going to traffic your baby mama, motherfucker. That's some revenge for your ass. <laughs> That's some revenge for your ass, that all. To sit up there and have his baby mama in a motherfucking paperwork, and you been trolling this nigga. That nigga knew what he was doing when he was fucking with your baby mama. He was like, yeah, come on here, baby. Come on, be with a billionaire. Come on over here and be with a billionaire. I'll get you to make some money. Won't you do this for me and do that for me? What? What? 50 had to know that that was a D. That was a like jack. Like, uh. Freak offs are not criminal. They're not. 
they're not if that's the case let me let's look it up let's look it up let's look up let me see let's see oh i can't show this hold on i can't show this i can just let me let me i can't show this um because this is i can't show this hold on I can't show this. I had to think about it. <laughs> like, see, girl, you can't show that. Okay. So. All right. Let me see. Uh, Let me see. Let me throw that down. Because I don't want to make a mistake and put that up there. So, if freak offs. So, what we going to do about Pornhub? I'm asking. I'm asking. If freak offs are bad because it's Diddy, what are we gonna do about Pornhub? I'm just asking. Anybody wanna know what we're gonna do about Pornhub? Yes. Yes. Xavier, yes. They Xavier said these dudes fighting over these stank boxes. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they that's you know what? That should be a statement that put up that should be that should be on a billboard. That should be on a billboard. And and and, and what makes it so bad, Xavier? The stank boxes, they pretty, but they stank boxes. They show sure is. You are right about that, baby. You are right about that. I'm sick and tired of everybody playing victim. Right? I'm sick and tired of everybody playing victim. These are grown folk. I'm sick and tired of everybody playing victim. I didn't know. I didn't, you ain't got to have a brain. And it's always just the rich man fault because he's the one with the money and the power. Uh-uh. I'm, I'm sick of that. I'm sick of that. You got, you got a brain. You an adult. Okay? You an adult and you playing an adult game. Right, so don't don't do that. Uh, that's why. I, and when I sit up there and talk, my talk and do my commentary is the truth. Everybody want to sit up there and blame somebody for something, and blame somebody for the next shit. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, yeah. I believe. See, they was in here a hundred deep because they wanted to know what I was gonna say. They wanted to know what I was going to say. No, I ain't on that today. I ain't finna scold y'all today. See, that's why they got up out of here. So they had no, because see, and, and it's the government. They want to know what their next move going to be. She out here talking this shit. You see what I'm saying? But no, she going to play victim. Fee Pro, she a freak, but she going to play victim. See, that's what we got to stop allowing them to do. You not a victim. You not a victim. But Xavier said these dudes fighting over stank boxes. He sure was right about that. He, you ain't never lied about that one. Shoot. That's exactly what they is. You, you, you ain't never lied about that. And Fipro said they she's a free. Yeah, she is. And ain't nothing wrong with it, but you can't be acting like it's a crime. Is it either we are accepted or we don't? Like I, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. I'm, I'm tired of the, I'm tired of it. Everybody ain't finna be a, a, a victim. Now I'm tired of it. You around him because he got the money. You was around 50 because he got money. Because he got what 50 say? Have a baby by me and be a millionaire. And that's what she did. She had a baby by you to be a millionaire. That's what she did. Her ass was, he mad as fuck. 
get her name all up in that. He mad as fuck. See, I believe, let me tell y'all what I believe before I get up out of here. What I believe was going to happen. Hey, Timo TV. Y'all go and check out Timo TV. Hey, Timo TV. Um, you know what I think? I think that 50 was go was go put uh I mean Diddy was gonna put 50 cent baby mama out there. Not in a way like trafficking, no, nah, but in a way like show up on the red carpet with her. Like I think he was working on that. I think he was working on that to slap him right in the face for all that shit he'd been talking for years. I really do think he was working on that. Because you got to remember, he was so fucking quiet while 50 was talking all that shit. Oh, yeah, it's a manufacturer case coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we already read it. It said that all these celebrities was engaging in uh, 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 Diddy's home. And illegal activity. But then it turned out to put, it turned, that statement turned around to put the blame on Diddy for having hidden cameras in his house. He was recording without their consent. You see what I'm saying? So they were uh, engaging in illegal activity, but they're going to put it on him for having cameras in his house and his shit. That they had a choice or whether they was going to involved in some illegal activity. That's what they do. I am mean, not. And, and, and these bloggers are going to justify that for them because they're paid. These big bloggers are getting paid. I'm trying to tell you, you cannot do that shit. You cannot sit up there and do that. That is not what you supposed to do. Shout out to Garnell Cooper. Shout out to Garnell Cooper for the $50 holla. For the $50 holla. Shout out to Garnell Cooper. Oh, we I should have had my witch jiggle. You know what I'ma do? I gotta have my um my um love handles ring. I'm gonna get a love handles ring for every time I get a super chat, it's gonna have a plus size girl going down the pole. Yeah, my love handles ring. But you know what though? But you know what, though? Shout out to Garnell Cooper for the $50 haul. Appreciate that so very much. Let me tell you, I'm telling you, that's what that was going to be his revenge on 50. His revenge on 50. I'm telling you, that's going to be his revenge on 50. His revenge on 50 was going to have his woman out in public. And 50 was going to be sick about it. And then, not only that, probably had his son call him daddy. Like, could you imagine? Diddy working on, because you know you already had LB Short son. Revenge is, that was, look. When you troll somebody for so long and they ain't saying shit, they got something up their sleeve. They got something up their damn sleeve. I'm trying to tell you. They trying, you think they going to make it? You know what, Fee Pro? I won't be, I won't be surprised. You know what, Fee Pro? You are so right. Because I was watching, now, I like Melanie King. I do. I like Melanie King. But she was showing on her channel how, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let's break this shit down on how they be lying. Or people don't think, I like her channel. Let me see what she was talking about. I think this was it. I don't want to hit with a private, with a, oh, let me see. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, this is Melanie King. She's showing a clip. Hold on. She's showing a clip. Let me show y'all. She's showing a clip on, I remember this episode of Carisha Please, right? A.K.A. Young Miami of the City Girls. And she was talking with Trina. And that's Melanie in the corner. Now, I, I, am, I am a fan of Melanie's show. I like the way she talked, but she was wrong on this, right? And this was by Revolt, and he sold some of Revolt. So, fair use. Let's listen to what she got to say, and let's break this shit down. Remember I told you these big bloggers are here to push narratives, whether they Republican or Democrat, right? Because there's money involved in it, right? 
And let's listen to what was said. Let's listen. Meaning when the guy pees on you, mm-hmm. pee on you. Let's see. I can't say it. You got to. It say take a shot if you like golden showers. I do. Golden showers. Meaning when the guy pees on you, mm-hmm. pee on you everywhere. You like it? I just like it. Okay. Now she just likes it. Now, listen to what Melanie says next. Let's listen. Now she said, let's listen to what she said again. For those in the back, right? Because we're going to apply this because I did, a, I, when this was, um, shout out to Page Six, shout out to Melanie Kling, and shout out to Carisha Please and Revolt. This does not belong to the channel of Spitting Fire Fair Use. Um, when she said she liked golden showers, I thought about R. Kelly case when the girl told R. Kelly to pee on me. And everybody in the courtroom was shocked that she said pee on me. And that's he peed on her. And that's where the pee take came about. But it was at the girl's request to be peed on. Nobody know that shit, right? I read it. I read it. I read the transcript. So... Let's listen again. I'm trying to turn this up some more. Hold on. I'm going to turn my microphone down, and I'm going to turn this up some more. Okay, hold on. I hope I don't forget to turn my microphone back up. I can't say it. You got to. It say take a shot if you like golden showers. I do. Golden showers, meaning when the guy pees on you, mm-hmm. pee on you everywhere. You like it? I just like it. Now. I knew I was going to forget to turn my microphone back up. Okay, now, let's listen. Now, she admitted she liked golden showers. So, she admitted. She talking to another woman where she admitted she liked golden showers. She's a younger woman. Same age as our Kelly girlfriends. I think we I think we owe these motherfucking men an apology. It's the women. I keep telling you that. That's why I support men's rights. I keep telling y'all that. Okay, so let's listen to what Melanie say. Now, why do they have from pub daddy to P daddy? Now, P daddy, why is it his fault that she says she like it? <laughs> y'all, y'all blame me for everything a woman say. Let's listen. Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie. And what you just saw there is one of P. Diddy's girlfriends, uh, alleged escort and drug mule. And she is also. This is not the words of Spit and Fire. That this belongs to Melanie King. This is for commentary and educational purposes and entertainment purposes only. Oh, a rapper and part of a group called the city girls so this is the city girls they basically promote okay i'm not talking about no city girls and all this and that i'm talking about the fact that she says she like golden showers and that everybody is blaming p diddy for her saying she like golden showers she says she like golden showers and the R. Kelly P tape, the famous P tape that they played in the courtroom, she told R. Kelly, pee on me. There were a lot of celebrities who met people who said people like to be urinated on and defecated on. And a lot of these people are younger because younger people are more free with sex than my generation you guys are much more freer with sex it's sex is just you're you're just open to talk about it it's just open in my era it was it was sacred and you didn't talk about it and you didn't talk about it with your face you know you you learned about the birds and the bees the, the the respectful way and that was it okay they don't want to hold women accountable she said she talking to She's talking to what's the girl name, the rapper name, Trina. She's talking to Trina saying, T 
take a shot if you like golden showers, I do. She said she like golden showers. She like golden showers. She said it. Yet, they showing P. Diddy. See, that's why I said, free R. Kelly. <laughs> free R. Kelly. Free R. Kelly, god damn it. This shit here, you can't make this shit up. That girl got on national TV. And if I was motherfucking, I would have been, I would have, oh my gosh. What? These young women are freaks, right? So, in the instance of that, let me see. Where was I at? Because I may can. Hold on. Let me look up something right quick, y'all. Let me look up something right quick. Let me see. Um, let me see. If that was two weeks ago, hold on. Okay, so. Uh, where was we at? Hold on. States, answer your question. You're asking. I hope you guys got. Because you're just. 2002, you said you oh did my, go to the Cook County State's something. Attorney's Office. And you said, I did not go to them. They came to me. Okay. But at the point is. You did tell them that they that you had a deaf commentary I'm about it. To Hold on. Please go over to the MIP. All right. This is the MIP by other channel. Let me show y'all. Okay. This is saying. Okay. I, I was reading stand, the transcript. Right. The threesome girl. So let's take. A I was reading the transcript with the R. Kelly situation. And when I was reading that transcript, I'm trying to find out where was that transcript at? Where the part where she was pee, I'm trying to find that. I don't know where was I at with this transcript. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. Okay. So this was it. Okay. So this was it. So. Let me see. They were, okay, let's see, Van Allen. Okay. This, because we was reading this transcript. Now, if P. Diddy goes to court, there's going to be a transcript like this. If they bring charges on them, which they working on, even if it's fabricated, Homeland Security going to bring some charges and they're going to fabricate it and they're going to give everybody immunity. And this is where we, as the people and taxpayers say, no, we don't want you to give immunity. If you're going to bring charges on them, everybody got to stand trial. Y'all did it with YSL, y'all can do it with P. Diddy too. Okay, excuse me, y'all. Okay, so, <coughs> hold on. <coughs> Ooh, went down the wrong pipe. Okay, so, this was Lisa Van Allen with R. Kelly, but if P. Diddy go to trial, it's going to be a transcript like this <coughs> that I want everybody to read because people ain't going to read. They go sit up there and believe everything that the accusers and the mainstream media say. But the mainstream media is a big liar. And the government is a big liar. Right? They do some shady shit to people. And so, therefore, this is what the transcripts going to look like. This is R. Kelly's. And y'all tell us all this bullshit, but you didn't take the time to read it. If you want it, if you are a blogger and you want the cross-examination of the transcript, 
to listen to the other side. There's two sides to every story. They said they was hostage. They said they was abused. They said they was this. One thing about the cross-examination is go reiterate what the government is stating and the, the so-called accusers. And then you get to have R. Kelly's attorneys ask them questions and you can make sense of shit. So if you are a blogger and you want the transcript, please email spittingfire at 18 at gmail.com. Spittingfire18 at gmail.com. All right. Make sure you do that. Okay. I just want that to be out there. Make sure you do that. We go get these people out here. Right. See, they, they mad. I, what, what you, they mad. They mad. They mad. Um, we know that YouTube playing with my numbers. They don't want what I'm saying out here. They play with your numbers. They, 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 they push people, kick people out your chat. They do. I don't care. Because I'm going to be spreading this around all on social media about them lying, okay? About how the government is lying. About how Homeland Security needs to start raiding and prancing around and put some white folks in all the media nonstop, not just the black entertainers. And y'all not going to sit up there and keep telling us that black all black men who are rich and famous are predators and that no priors before the, the 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 wealth but lo, but when money draws women now you a predator you get what? I don't I don't get that I don't get that I don't get it I don't support it and so they get mad at me about it okay I don't that's just the dumbest thing ever to me like I just don't believe that and so they did it with 50 cent they did it with R Kelly they did it with Bill Cosby they keep doing it and at some point, and I'm trying to get out here and I get on the bloggers because they keep doing it. And it's not right or wrong on P. Diddy, R. Kelly, or Bill Cosby, but you're not finna just show all the black ones and taking them down one by one. You're taking them down one by one by one by one by one. And it's all about who we like. If they are the protected people, they ain't they they untouchable. They untouchable. She did. She she posted on IG Rena. Let's see. What's her name? What's her name? Rena, what's her name? Put her name in there. You know her name, Rena? You know her name? Is Daph is it Daphne? It's something, but I don't, because everybody don't have their name as their Instagram name. So I don't know if I have her up here. I could probably look and see, but I'm sure if her name is in that, let's see. Because uh, let's see, 50, 50 cents. Let's see. Um, yeah, he got too many followers. Y'all know the name? I don't know her name. Daphne Joy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Y'all say what? Daphne. Okay, Daphne. Daphne. Joy. Okay, wait a minute. Do she ha okay? What it look like? Cause there's a lot of Daphne Joys now. Um, let me see. Uh, I don't know if this her. It's a lot of Daphne Joys. Hold on. The first Daphne Joy. Is that it? Let's see. Is it the first Daphne Joy? Because she don't have. And why would she have a fan page? Who is she to have a fan page? Yes, Neighborhood Talk posted. Neighborhood Talk, okay. I sent it to your IG. Okay, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Shoot. Y'all, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me 
Sí. Uh, you sent it to my IG. You sure you sent it to the right one? Let's see. I'm find it. Mm. Let's see. Okay, that's a that's a fan page. She got more subscribers than that. She got a she got more subscribers than that. Let's see. No, they got, she got a lot of fan pages. Who the fuck is she to have all these fan pages? Yeah, put the link in the um chat. Cause this 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 too many of them. Put the link in the chat. There's too many of her fans. She I know she light skinned. Let check out neighborhood talk. Okay. Let me see. Neighborhood talk. Okay. We on neighborhood talk. Let's look at it. I'll look it up with y'all. How about that? Uh, is this one okay? This one. She crying, y'all. While definitely drew a response to 50 Cent reportedly warning full custody of their son after being named in Diddy lawsuit, saying he erred and abused her. You are no longer my oppressor, and my God will handle you. She crying, y'all. See, you see what I'm saying? Look at this. Look what somebody said in the back. I would wish this on any woman. Any woman? What? She had choice. God hears me, and this is all that matters. I would wish this on any woman. What about anybody? Man, show us. Daphne Speak Out says she has been upholding an image on 50 Cent for their child. Says he's physically abused and are her thoughts. <gasps> oh. Now, if he's saying 50 odd her, you see how women doing? Now, you see what they doing? Now, she's saying, listen to what she said. She speak out. She says she's been upholding an image on 50 cent for their child. Says he's physically, a see? That me too shit, man. Y'all need to, come on now, y'all. Come on now, y'all. Your girl been talking that. But let's 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 get to it. Let's get to it. Not, not see what I'm saying? Now she putting it on him. Now y'all believe that? Y'all believe that? When they get in trouble, now they abuse. They abused. I ain't I ain't well 50 would have would have had it coming. He talked all that shit about R. Kelly, talked all that shit about Diddy. She he had it coming too. Cause I told y'all, and y all these men need to stick together and change these laws about how these women can just say they're abused and we supposed to believe them. Fifty already on probation for her. Oh wait a minute, it, I, I can't even I can't even bring it up. Why I can't bring it up? Hold on, y'all. I got to bring it up some more. <sighs> let me see. I'm trying. Let me see. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to bring it up some more, y'all. Hold on. Let me think about how I can do this. But then it's cut off. Let me see where it starts at. Okay. Okay, so let, let, let's start from here and then work our way back. Can we do that? Can we start from here and work our way back? That sound fine? Okay, we're going we to start from here and work our way back. 50 Cent react to his baby mama, Daphne Joy, being named in one of Diddy's sex workers in the latest lawsuit. Ooh. And then she said, Daphne speak out. Says she's been upholding the image of F. Cent and their child. Says he physically abused and bloop, bloop, bloop. Ooh. 
wait a minute. I can't. I ain't. I ain't playing no, 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 no nothing. Update. Wife of Baltimore Bridge. Coll- okay, now that's the collapse of the Baltimore Bridge. Shout out to those who uh, family was hurt and killed in the Baltimore Bridge collapse. Okay, I'm deeply hurt by the lies in Rodney Jones' lawsuit. The claims that I am a sex worker is 100% false and character assassination. I am retaining an attorney to explore all legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney. Ooh. Ooh. Now, here's the thing. He naming all these people. But they're saying it's not true. This don't look good. Okay. So let's read this. She do, little Mo. She do. She do look like Chrissy Teigen. She do. She does. I don't know if I can see this, y'all. Okay, I'm try I tried to blow it up, but it won't let me blow it up. It says everything is a joke until you until you everything's a joke to you until our safety is compromised, which is happening now. You are reckoning real havoc frenzy and chaos unto people's lives how would you feel if your shire has one of it has wait a minute how would you feel if sire was one in handcuffs for nothing we moved to new york to give you the opportunity to be a father to your son and you saw him 10 times out of two years that we live I, one mile away from you. I'm tired of upholding and protecting an image to our son that you have never even earned. Let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of arming me and fit in, in, in abuse, a B in me. You are no longer my oppressor, and my God will handle you from this point on. You have permanently damaged the last hope I had for you as a father to preserve our family with the le- with these last and final false claims made against me. You have broken our hearts for the last and final time. Ooh. Oh, mm, mm, well, well, you see what I'm saying? Now she accusing him of our word and she's accusing him of physically abuse. Interesting. Interesting. But you see what the women do? Now I'm not taking up for 50, but you see, let's not look at her accuse 50. We going to talk about 50. You see how she said, I'm upholding your image for this time. You see how I said yesterday and the day before? It's all good until you make me mad. Now I'm going to say you did it. You see how the women doing? Man, they coming out with them R words. They coming out with them. Oh, yeah, you think it's funny? Or I'm going to say you R word me and abuse me. Oh, shit, 50, you finna find yourself in some hot water, too. God, doggy. Woo, uh, and all because y'all wouldn't listen to spitting fire. <laughs> y'all would not listen to spitting fire. I told y'all to get together and push back so these women can stop saying that. But y'all wouldn't do it. Nah, she just said, well, since you sitting up there thinking everything is a joke and that my name was sitting up there bought up in this stuff, but why would he say your name, though? Why would the guy say your name out of everybody's name? If you don't be down with P. Diddy, why would the guy say your name? This is some interesting stuff, y'all. God damn, this is interesting. The hell, this is interesting. This is interesting. I just was like. <laughs> Gil, Gil, dance. I don't know. I don't know. Shit, we all confused. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't goddamn know. Oh, it's Lord Jesus. 
this is too much for the human brain. That's what I will say. Okay, so let, let me see if I get this right before I get up out of here. Because she guilty. You think she guilty, free bro? Free, free bro, you think she guilty? She could be. She crying and shit. But I want to know, how, how did, like, out of everybody name, y'all, out of everybody name, why would they put her name? Why would he say, yeah, Daphne, uh... Why would he put her name? Why would he put her name, y'all? Out of everybody, why would he just put 50 Cent Baby Mama name? If it wasn't no, well, I'm just saying. He ain't put Vivica name. Yeah, oh, y'all, I... This shit here. This shit more crazy than R. Kelly shit. Rich famous people got some crazy ass problems. They got some crazy ass problems. You know what? Famous people should have only dated famous people. This is what they get for not dating famous people. Because they going to keep shit quiet. You be dealing with these everyday motherfuckers and making them famous or low-level, entry-level, known Instagram thoughts. Ooh, and she said he abused her and awed her. Hell, and all the damn men are our worders then, if that's the case. So what is the, I want to know what YouTube bloggers go say when they talk about Bill Cosby, when they talked about R. Kelly, when they talked about uh, Diddy in, 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 in Cuba, what they gonna say about 50? Now that he, 50 Cent did it. 50 did it. He did. I'm like, God damn, is y'all ever gonna say stop the lies? <laughs> is y'all ever gonna say bag up? Stop it. Stop calling everybody an R worder. Or R worder or whatever. Stop calling. Stop. Y'all just stop. This is just too much. Well, I'm tired of holding your image. If he argue, why would you hold his image? You get what I'm saying? Like, that's what I was saying yesterday, y'all. Every time these people talk, they prove me right. She said, listen to what she said. I can't see. I can't see that well. Lord knows I can't read, but I can't see. But let, let's try to read this one more again. Okay? Okay. And forgive me for not able to see, but if you can blow it up on your screen, you can probably pause me and read it for yourself. Because, you know, your girl a certain age, I can't, I can't do what I used to do. Everything is a joke until our safety is compromised, which is happening now. You are reckoning real havoc, frenzy, and chaos into people's lives. How would you feel if Sire was one in handcuffs for nothing? So, obviously, she's taking up for Diddy in that point, it seems like, if because Diddy Kids was handcuffed for nothing. We moved to New York to give you the opportunity to be a father to your son that you saw 10 times out of two years that I, we live, one mile away from you. I'm tired of upholding and protecting an image to our son that you have never even earned. So, why would you do it? You see what I'm saying? I'm tired of protecting the image i'm tired of upholding and protecting an image to our son that you have never even earned so she's saying like i'm trying to make it seem like your daddy loves you and we want to be together but you don't even come see him all this type of stuff or whatever let's put the real focus on on um your true evil actions of ari me so you moved closer to Listen to what she said. You see how I say when they get mad and you put them in a the corner, they're gonna say they gonna say they were our word and the physically abused. Okay. Now this is karma for Diddy for all the trolls he did when other men were being accused. But this is what I've always said about what women do and what they're doing now. <clears throat> Listen to what she said. We moved to New York to be closer to you. You only saw your son 10 times in two years. Okay, that's a parenting concern. 
but let's isolate that. I'm tired of upholding and protecting the image to our son that you have never even earned. So I try to make it seem like you are the father of the year to protect your image to our son. So he won't be, you know, upset with you not being the father that you are. But then it says, now the last paragraph, it says, let's put real focus on your true evil actions of arming me. Now he argued and he abused you and you moved to New York to be closer to him for the sake of your son. You see how that doesn't make sense, people? And you got women's lib, Me Too movement will take that statement and they will go after 50. That doesn't make sense, people. That's what I said about, I said that about Megan Thee Stallion. I said that about, that does not make sense. You, you, move, that, you move to be one mile of your r order. You had a child with this man. Now he R word you and abuse you. Okay. I don't know if it's true or not. That's not what I'm arguing here on Spin Fire. What I'm saying is don't make it seem like he just was like that because you just moved to be closer to him. Like stop. Because if somebody R word me, you think I'm going to be moving closer to be closer to him? Like what, what the hell are you talking about? It doesn't make sense. But she said, you are no longer my oppressor and my God will handle you from this point on. You are permanently damaged the last hope I had for you as a father to preserve our family. Now, either we are family, he's a, we, he's a father, or he's your r worder. Now you tell us that you physically be, you r word me. Now, how is he supposed to know he r word you when you got a whole baby you move closer to him. See the words that they can use on you? And she's not a black woman. I think she's half Asian. They throwing it on you, black men. They throwing that R word on you. Who told y'all that five, six years ago? Do y'all know? And I'm going to remind y'all. All laws were stemmed on the Negro man would be our R word. Did y'all hear what I said? I told y'all that. I told y'all back in 2019 about the three-fifth rule, and I told y'all about that. People argue with me. The block bender argue with me. I was right about that shit. Everybody said it was abolished. Ain't no, ain't no law abolished. Shit. They still practice that shit. Now, I'm sitting up here telling you, She moved closer to be the, yeah. Move, move closer. To, that's why I said you can, women are indecisive. So now she backed up against the wall because her name is added in this lawsuit. So she crying. So now she go, cause she going to claim everybody all word her. All these women, we were all word. Everybody, they going to play that me too shit. Told you. It's been five, told you. Smith, I told you that shit 2018. I told you, men, 50 Cent, and you got what you deserve. Because your motherfucking ass trolled R. Kelly, you trolled uh, Diddy, you trolled everybody that was accused of R word. Now your baby mama said you R word her too. How about that? You see what I'm saying, black man? This is why I told, I said, I don't understand why any black man that is even a blogger, I will be bashing these women. I would. You ain't finna be sitting up there calling, oh, oh, not here, all oh, and then men go believe it. Especially the working class, these men on here. They jealous of the rich men, so they be like, yeah, I believe you. Protect our black women. You ain't protecting nothing. You just trying to get a click in the view. You see what I'm saying? Just trying to get a click in the view. Oh, wow. This is interesting. Who? Yeah, and she ain't even black. Yeah. Oh, she mixed. She she she's Asian and mixed and stuff. Oh, but she cut. Oh, and you are our work. Mm, mm, mm. This was. Mm, 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 mm. Uh uh uh. Mm, 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 mm. Woo. Well, 
Y'all can say Spitfire told you so. Mm, mm, mm. Free R. Kelly. <laughs> Shit. Are oh, you free R. Kelly? Y'all told y'all motherfuckers to stick together. Spitfire told y'all to stick together. I told y'all black men, you is R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, and Bill Cosby is you. All y'all got better stick together. I would have been like, y'all better stick together. Don't let them play that select. Y'all better stick together. Y'all are under attack. She just pulled an attack on goddamn 50. And I don't know, 50, you know, I can, I, I, we pulled out, you know, her lies. I mean, I believe she's lying. Just by the statement she made, she made a twisted statement just like 50 did. They make these twisted statements like mainstream media do. We move closer to you so you can be a father. You move closer to your R word. Yeah, we was a mouth for him and he abused me. He he R'd me. Girl, sit your ass down. Shut up. That's what I would have said. Sit your ass down and shut up. I'm just keeping it a buck. I'm just keeping it a buck. Y- you know what? Now, he may get her for saying that. He may get her for saying that. But the fact is, I don't know. That Me Too movement is strong. That Me Too movement is strong. She she can probably be like, well, since he, since they said I did it, we going to link all them together. She, that Me Too movement is strong now, y'all. I don't know, but he is going to try. He, he is going to respond, y'all. Fibro, Lil Mo, y'all know he going to respond to that. You got to know he going to respond to that. I know he going to respond to that. But the Me Too movement is strong. You got a lot of them out here. Believe all women is what they say. McCann, you think his trolling will stop? I don't know. 50 got an image. 50 got, I don't know. If it stopped, it will stop temporarily. won't stop permanently. But he going to work on her ass, though, McCann. He going to work on, I don't know y'all i don't know about this one damn the dragon got them tongue tied on how this gonna play out now i don't i don't know damn i got to think about that i'm gonna be up all night thinking about this shit okay so she said he earned her and physically abused her and they live a mile from each other which he don't see their son she was named in the uh in the diddy's sex scandal Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But why would her name be mentioned in the sex scandal, though? Damn! Wow, this this I'm not I'm not even no 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 I'm not even finna be calling and being in people' business and you know how many people be hanging up the phone on me when I be calling asking for shit. <laughs> Y'all yeah, be calling, asking for shit. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm a blog, and I want to know some information about such and such. They be like, click. <laughs> some people talk to me. Some people hang up on. A lot of people hang up on me. Oh my god, I'm gonna be up all night thinking about that. I'm like, but why would her name? This shit is on my mind, y'all. Why would her name? Out of everybody, like, why would her name be mentioned in? His sex scandal. She was, she had to have, it made, even if it wasn't true, she had to have some dealings with Diddy. Because why would the guy name her though? Damn, y'all, we we gonna have a damn headache trying to think. Why would her name be in Diddy's Hell no. She been seeing Diddy? You know what I think? Let me tell you what I think. I think he put her name in there to expose the fact that Diddy was doing him to make 50 mad. That that only makes sense. Like, I believe she was seeing Diddy, and I believe Diddy was seeing her out of revenge for 50 trolling. And I believe the guy put her name in the sex scandal, which, you know, the court documents and everything, 
to expose the fact that Diddy and her had relations. Because I'm trying to think, why would he put her name in it? That would be the only reason why he would put her name in it. He put her name in it so, so 50 can know that Diddy was smashing his baby mama. That's the only reason what makes sense, y'all. That's the only reason it makes, because why else would he put her name in that? He knew that was a, I think it's a lie, but I think he, but I think them dealing with each other wasn't a lie. And I think, I think, yeah, I think that. And I think he did that so he could have, so to turn the beef up between Diddy and 50, because he was already mad at Diddy. That's the only damn, right, right, Rashad, that's the only thing that makes sense. That's the only thing that makes sense. Like, say, for instance, McCann, say, for instance, if, if you, I'm going to use you and Rashad, you, McCann, you 50, and Rashad, you Diddy. So, if I'm the guy that's mad at Rashad, which is 50, and I'm putting all these pictures in it. Because I told y'all, I said, them pictures ain't meaning shit. They ain't meaning shit. They trying to make it mean something. But that, that shit ain't meaning shit. Um, Rashad, why would I put McCann's baby mama in it? Because I know that Diddy was doing 50 Cent's baby mama. And even though I don't know the nature of their relationship, I'm going to say she was a sex worker. So 50 could get mad and go after Diddy even harder. That's the only thing that makes sense on why that man said her name. Because I'm like, why would he say her name? Like, what? And she's like, that's not true. I don't think it's true for her being a sex worker, but I think that they had some, they did the oochie coochie. I mean, Diddy a billionaire. They did the Uchi Coochie. He got more money than 50, way more money. So they did the Uchi Coochie. But he wanted 50 to know that they did the Uchi Coochie. So he just gonna say she a fucking sex worker. And he gonna let them sort it out. Lawyer could be making up stuff too, Harold. They could that could be too. Cause I'm thinking, like, why the fuck would she say his name though? But he wanted 50 to know that your baby mama was over there bending over backwards. Mm -hmm. He wanted to know that. He wanted, he wanted him to know that. And he knew that if that document get out and her name get added into stuff, he knew that 50 was going to get mad. And he probably felt like 50 go turn up the heat. But this going to be interesting. This going to be way better than R. Kelly shit. This is going to be interesting. After we read the transcript with R. Kelly shit, we know a lot of them motherfucking women were lying. Free R. Kelly. Shit, get the fuck out of it. Them hoes ain't worth going to prison for. Uh, damn. Oh, this is going to be interesting. And she now she's saying, 50, you the one who are me. Damn, this is going to be interesting. How this shit... Homeland Security, I don't know how y'all going to play this out. You know what they going to do? Immunity. We give everybody immunity as long as we can get Diddy. Mm -mm -mm. Is she trying to take down 50 and help Diddy? Because it sounds like she tried to help Diddy, but take down 50. He said, he seen Daphne around. He added her to Young Miami. He seen them around. He probably had. That doesn't make sense since after all these years that 50 knew about Diddy. I, Keisha, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not understanding. Because I'm not understanding. Why would he say her name? That's what I'm saying. If you saying what I'm saying, Keisha, because I'm saying, okay, he had to mention her name to get 50's attention. It had to have been the reason. I can't understand, see nothing else. 
she got a baby with 50 cent and she fucking she really don't have to be a sex worker y'all like come on now I, i'm not believing that part but i will believe she will fuck around with diddy i will be, I will, she, oh yeah she will be a smash oh yeah i don't believe she's a sex worker no i don't believe that but i believe yeah we she hooks up with him yeah he got money yeah she hooks up with him shit but I believe, and, and Diddy probably knew he was smashing her and letting 50 talk shit and he hitting that. Oh, these celebrities know they messy. God damn. Damn, they, they life way more goddamn interesting than ours. Shit, the working class, all we do is go to work, try to pay the bills and, and cut the grass. Shit, they like got some damn interest in it, boy. Damn. Oh, I guess when you got money, you ain't got shit else to do. Just, just, just do all kind of cannabis shit. You ain't got shit else to do but be low down and cannabis. You got all the money in the world for everything else. You just say, fuck it, I'm be low down cannabis. You know, you know Diddy is low down and cannabis, though. He do got some low down cannabis. I mean, goddamn, you fucked your damn son, woman. What's that, Lori Harvey? So, you know, he don't give a shit. He'll stick it to you. Nah. Well, she she don't want that to happen a little more, so she gonna call Me Too. She, she's calling the Me Too movement, a Me Too on him to say that he was R-worded her and he um abused her. She pulled the Me Too card, which is fabricated, but she pulled the Me Too card. And the Me Too people are going to support her, believe all women. Even if it's a lie, believe them. I'm like, y'all got to stop believing this shit. This shit right here, because she said it how she said it, I ain't believing no more Me Too's. I'm sorry. I ain't believing no more Me Too's. No, I'm not believing it. I'm only believing Me Too's when there ain't no money involved. When there's a whole lot of people, money involved, I ain't believing no more Me Too's. I'm tired of Me Too's. What what see Timo Timo she she just not only waited all this time. Let me read that again. Cause I don't know if you just came in. Let me see. Did you just come in, Timo? No, you ain't just come in. You you might have came in, left and came back. So what she's saying, Timo, is she's saying she she moved so he could be closer to their son. But she complaining that. Okay, you was working, you've been listening. Okay, so she complaining that she moved closer to him so he can be a father to his son, but she was saying she he really ain't been a father to his son. And she said, let's talk about the real evil doer that you do, how you are worried me and abused me. And we thinking, you moved closer to your R word. Now he R word you. That's what I've been speaking. Everybody telling me I hate women. It's not that I hate women. It don't make no damn sense to me. This is why we asking questions. We're questioning victims over here. You shouldn't question the victim. Shit. You do, you don't, you don't question them on your goddamn channel. We question it on the Spitting Fire channel. Cause this shit don't make no sense. Now you mean to tell me you move from where you live to New York one mile to your R word to save the image for your son. And he R word you. So you go protect his image of your R word for the sake of your son. And then you complain that he don't see your son and he's supposed to be an R worder. Because if he's an R word, why would you want him to see your son? Why would you move even closer to him? See what I'm saying? You got to pull out the truth on statements. If you odd me, and then they was in a marriage or going together, you have his baby, you move closer to him. Did she say so we could be a family? So now you want to be a family with your R word? Girl, you you saying five, six different contradictions. Go on, sit down. Ain't nobody R word you. Go on, sit your ass down. Stop the lies. We, we already know that's a lie right there. Nah, we, we already know that. But the point I'm making 
The Me Too movement going to make it the truth. That's the scary part. And there are Me Too supporters on the internet that's going to believe that shit. Not that they want to, but they pushing an agenda. Believe all women. Because right there, when we read that, that did not make sense. But you got some blogs that's going to make that make sense. You see what I'm saying? And then we talking about parents. I've often told y'all, well, if these un- these supposed to be underage people, boy or girl, engaging in all this sexual activity, where the parents at? I asked y'all that. But we just heard her say, well, I want you to be closer to your son and you don't see your son, but he's supposed to be an R word. So why would you want your son to see an R word, see the parents? She's a parent. Y- you get what I'm saying? Like nobody is, that's not making sense. And I told people a lot of the times that our word, I mean, trafficking starts at home. People think I'm talking about parents uh, beating their kids and and selling them. Sometimes that happens, but it don't always happen in that, in that context or in that um, evil, in in that harsh of, of, of crime. Sometimes it's a soft blow of transition. Sometimes it's a, you know your child doing something and you don't intervene because it's bringing money into the house. And it, and she's alive and she's all right, so she's bringing money into the house. You're not caring. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes, like our Kelly girlfriend, the mother pretended to be the daughter. Oh, she, I'm 18. The mother pretended that her, her daughter was 18 years old so R. Kelly can date her daughter. And then turned around and played victim and the world bought into it. So what I'm saying, my email is spittingfire18 at gmail.com. Spittingfire, let me put that, let me put it in the email. Yep, that's my email. When it go up some, I I pin it. That hard in a way. That's my email, okay? So a lot of times, a lot of things goes on at those parties. I know a lot of stuff goes on at those parties, but we got to understand some things. Some of those parties, you know, those parties are meant for adults, whether it's same-sex activity or drug activity or, you know, uh, whatever activity. You know what I'm saying? Kids need to be in kids' places. And parents need to start knowing where their kids at. That's no excuse. That is no excuse. Well, I thought she was over at a friend's house. Well, then a friend need to have a parent there. And you need to make sure your parent there so that your parent, a parent can know where you are. Because if my child is not where she's supposed to be and I talk to a parent and she's at a sleepover and my child is at a party with grown folks, I'm going to talk to that parent. How is it that I left my child in your custody and for some reason you were not watching them and they were at an adult uh, party? And then the thing of what we do as society is we blame the adults for children being in adult spaces when we need to blame the adults for not supervising their children to stay out of adult places. Like if I have an adult party, and we're doing, we smoking and we probably doing drugs and people doing sex and we just grown, right? We just grown. And if we in possession of narcotics and we ain't supposed to be, well, we're taking grown folk chances, right? But the fact is we're grown. What we as society does is we allow a child to be in an adult place and then we will say, uh, you're wrong because you're engaging with a child as opposed to saying where is the parents and why is this child somewhere they're not supposed to be? You get what I'm saying? Like, we got to make sense of this, though. And people say, well, we shouldn't blame. Me too said we blame the children. We don't blame the children. We want children to be in their space. You can't chastise a grown folk person for doing grown people activity. That's the only thing I'm saying. And same-sex activity is not a crime uh, since 2015 when they had a right to get married. It's not a crime. So when they sit up there showing 
Stevie J supposed to be in the bed with another man. That's not a crime. That's why you don't see me really speaking on stuff like that because you can't support gay rights and then use it as a, 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 a crime or to diminish people. So when people talk about Diddy sexuality, no, because many of y'all support gay rights. So if you guys support gay rights, you can't say or chat or challenge his adult sexual activity, even if it's with another man. You can't do it. You, it's confusing. It's contradicting. It doesn't even make sense. Because if he did have sex with a man, or if they were saying men kissing each other, that's not a crime. You got gay bars all over the place. That's not a crime. Now, he may not have came out and said he was bisexual or anything, but that's not a crime. Then they say, okay, when that don't work, they say, well, he's having sex with underage. Now you, what they're doing is now you're alluding that if you're part of the LGBT, you're also part of pedophilia. But then when we initially, when people was initially saying that before gay people got rights, the gays were combating that. Now they're embracing that when it, when it's due to a takedown of a person. And that's why I was trying to tell other bloggers, you got to be more careful with what you put out here and ha it had to have common sense. Because if I said something negative about the LGBT community, I would not have a platform, right? If I said anything about the Jewish community or men, or whatever, I would not have a platform. So I said that to say, I don't want to hear about his sexuality because if he has sex with a man, that's not a crime. According to a whole lot of you who went out there and marched with them people who twirled them rainbow flags around for support. And I'm not saying I'm against or support. I'm saying you got to pick which one is it. Because if I was part of the LGBTQ community, I would be upset that every time you take down a black man, you claim him to be gay and we supposed to have rights. Like, which one is it? Because that is confusing. That is confusing to people who don't want to, uh, you know, condemn somebody's lifestyle. But at the same time, when you want to take down a heterosexual man, you make him weak by calling him gay. Like, which one is it? Because if I was if I was the LGBT with these uh, uh, charges against these men, I will make sure that I protest the government on that and the media. Because you're calling him something that you saying to demasculate him, to make fun of our lifestyle. Just like if you really remember back in the day, they was like, oh, that's so gay. Gay people went on a campaign saying how that was disrespectful. So I'm not understanding how saying a man sleeping with another man is supposed to be, they did that with R. Kelly. They did, I'm not understanding that. Like, I'm not understanding. So that's what I was going to say. So let's, let's stop with the, the same sex. Whether you for or against it, let's stop with that because they part of the protected class now. So if he has sex with another man, that's not a crime. So we got to stop acting like it is. And because what's going to happen to y'all out here, and, and, and if they smart, they're going to start attacking your channels. They're going to start attacking your channels. Because if I was part of the LGBT community, I would. Why is every time y'all want to sit up there and make fun of a heterosexual man, y'all call him gay? That's, that'd be offensive to me. That, if I was part of the community, that would be offensive. That would be offensive. And if he was, so what? If you're supposed to be in a protected class, you got to stand up for it. And if you're against it, you got to say it. Because really, that's homophobic on the people who are making these allegations. That's homophobic. If that's the true meaning of the word, that's what I would think it is. I would think it is. So you, so in other words, I said that to say, whether you for or against, I don't say nothing about the LGBTQ community because I don't know nothing about it. I'm not part of that group. 
but I do know the organization itself is, a, is, 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 is corrupt, just like Me Too and Time's Up. Oh, the organization, not the, the gay people themselves, not the community themselves, but these liberal organizations like LGBTQ and Me Too and all this, that, they are, Black Lives Matter, they are so corrupt. Woo-wee. They are corrupt. And I don't know why any people, person that's black and gay, part of that damn I would not wear them colors. Y'all better start getting a black gay alliance or something and get away from that damn alphabet. Them people are corrupt, okay? And they down with the Me Too movement and all them people are corrupt. But I said that to say, you see how they play They play their role. Let's demasculate him first and they all and that. Well, he liked to kiss me and so y'all knew that back then. Y'all ain't care. Y'all knew that back then. Some of y'all, y'all dance with them. Shoot. Some of them dance with them. They knew that back then. You get what I'm saying? They knew that back then. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, people need to understand some things. For real, for real. Mm-hmm. It ain't, and ain't no music in here, is it? Harold. Let me see. They saying this. Diddy's lavish uh, lifestyle crazy party in St. Barth in December Okay, he with his children. He on a boat. Daughters. I think that's his family, uh, Timo. That's his family. That's his kids. <laughs> Timo said they don't even look 18. Them his kids. <laughs> Them's his sons. <laughs> Pump the brakes, y'all. Pump the brakes. Them his kids. Turn it. Yeah, them his kids. Okay, folks. 
Like the kids don't get along with young Miami. You saw they just looking at each other and just keep it moving. I'm just saying that happens too. It could be some family feud, but let's listen. They they caucus and talk. They, they got a microphone on. Mm -hmm. so they got everybody's phone now? Got everybody's phone. Got the white phone? Huh? Right. She walking away. So I don't think I don't think she get along with the kids. I don't think she get along with the kids, y'all. Where the boys at? What a boy. Hello. Hey, Diddy. Merry, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Excuse me, I need the phones, guys. I need the phones. Diddy, you had the nerve to get plump. You know, they got that dad bod going on. He, so he said he had the phones, y'all. Okay, because he don't want a lot of celebrities make people check in their phones. But they are trying to make that seem like that's a kidnapping. They will, tr Homeland Security will try to make that seem like that's kidnapping because in a lot of parties, you got to check in your phones. Your phone. <laughs> the kids know yo Miami ain't shit. I need your phone. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So and Quincy, I know you have phone. two phones, Quincy. Oh, there you go. That's what I love. Yeah. Everybody checking in their Just phones. Just he doing his so own security work. Look at that. Got all the phones. Do I have everybody's phones? So we got two cars. We got this car and the car over there. Um, how would you like to? Explain? I mean, yeah, we can go get him when we finish. Yeah. Who's Lil Rod? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Harold, that's Lil Rod. Where? Wait a minute. We gotta go back. Lil Harold said that's Lil Rod. We gotta go back. We we gotta go back. We gotta go back. Okay, Harold, where's where's that? Okay, I'm gonna play this again, Harold. You need to show me the minute mark. Huh? Y'all, them his kids. The man got kids. Them his kids. Them not his girlfriends. Them his children. Diddy got about six, seven kids. Them his kids. This his girlfriend in the brown. Young Miami. Jesus. Every time somebody is near somebody young, that don't mean that's the girlfriend. People do have babies. Them is his kids. Them his twin daughters. He got another daughter. Them his kids. Dang. Them his kids. Got everybody's phone now? Got everybody's phone. Got the boys' phone? Huh? Uh, yeah. Where the boys at? That's his girlfriend in the brown. He said, where the boys at? He's looking for his sons. He got daughters and he got sons. When you a billionaire like that, people pop out babies for you. Shit. Merry Christmas. Okay, where's that, Harold? Excuse me, I need the phones, guys. I need your phones. I need your phones. I need your phones. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And Quincy, I know you have two phones. Quincy, oh, there you go. <laughs> so he said, Quincy, I know you have two phones. That's his son. Well, that's the one I think he raised 
LB Short son, that's still his son. He said, Quincy, I know you have two phones. So he's trying to let it be known. Don't just give me one phone because I know you got another one, right? Go back. He said 443, 443. Okay. I'm going to go back to 438. Yeah. Oh, that's him. Okay, with the black hat on. Oh, okay, that's him. That's the one that they said that Fifty was fucking little right. That's the one that um um. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, y'all. We gonna pause this right here because we gotta go back to to see something. Hold on. So that's the four forty four mark. Okay, hold on, hold on. Dog it. Hold on. We gotta go back to Instagram now. Shoot. Okay, we gotta go back to Instagram. Okay, we gotta see Stevie J. We got to see Stevie J. Let's see. Was Hitman Stevie J. Okay, come on. Hitman said what now? Okay, so Hitman said, wait a minute. You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod dick? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade. Man. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Hold, damn it. Okay, wait a minute. Oh shit! Come on now. Let me see. Fuck. Oh. Damn. Let me see. Okay, hold on, y'all. Okay. Uh, let me see. Look at my history. Okay. Neighborhood talk. Okay, and then I got that sign into that. Hold on, I gotta get back to the neighborhood talk on Instagram. My, my shit clicked off. Okay, not now. Okay, so we got that, and then we're going back to some more history. Let's see. Um, let's see. Okay, Stevie J. Okay, so we got Stevie J. We got Stevie J. Why is it the whole thing? Um, okay, and then we got, who else we got? We got, um, let me see. We was at the, what video? Harold, Harold showed me a video. And we was at the 44 minute mark. So that's little ride, okay. I apologize. Okay, so this little ride. Okay, so let's listen to little ride because Harold sent this. I ain't even see this, Harold. I just seen this. Okay, so this so so let's listen to what little ride said. Okay. So we gonna listen to this. Y'all see it? Let me know if y'all see it. Yeah, Lil Rod is the one in the white shirt and black, but I'm sure he on the screen now. Let's listen. Let's listen to what he got to say, because we don't know. Shit, I ain't never said Diddy was innocent. I just said he was a grown. Okay, so let's listen. To anyone, this video may be embarrassing, too. Um, let's just jump right into it. Some of you, you may know me or may not. I'm a music producer who's a writer and musician. Um, different genres. I started in the gospel and jazz and and R&B and worked my way over to the hip hop side. I've been working on an album 
Um, I took a year off straight working on this album. That album is the Love Album, Off the Grid by Diddy. Um, and it's Grammy nominated right now as we speak. Um, I should be um, so celebrating, charges, but the truth is I'm not. Taking this album on has required so much time, um, you know, months and at, at, at a time, 16 hours, 24 hours a day. Um, sometimes, you know, Diddy would request certain works to be done and tell us don't go to sleep until it's done. And, and the truth is we'll be up for days trying to accomplish that. I've tried to get my business straight with them on this album, but the truth is they're not playing fair. They, they hit me on below the belt on so many situations just 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 dealing with this it's the contract that they give me and the offer that they gave me was just disgusting the the the, the producer fee pain. okay so he's mad about money okay and like i said like i said we talking law we ain't talking innocent nobody in the world is innocent we're talking is it against the law so he's mad about money well, so, because he, he came out the gate for the last minute and a half talking about money. Let's listen to him some more. Pennies. And on top of that, these guys are trying to steal my publishing. I can't go for that. So I'm okay. fighting back. He's a fighter, um, but I'm 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 going to put in this fight. I got to do it for myself, my rights, and most importantly, my kids. Taking my publishing or stealing it is, is just, it's, I'm not going to let that happen. Not going to let that happen. Again, this is one of those projects that, that took so much time from me. I miss holidays. Okay, so you said that this is when he tried to get a GoFundMe. The media didn't pick up on it until he pulled a Cassie. Okay, that makes sense because he's talking about money now. He's not. Okay, so here's what. I, and again, again, I want people to understand some things. You got, when I tell y'all the love of money is the root to all evil, you got to pay attention. Now, Diddy ain't innocent. Ain't innocent on what? Diddy ain't innocent. Hell, I ain't innocent. And I don't even know none of these niggas. Ain't nobody innocent in the world but a baby. But we need to know what's the law. See, we, what you got to understand is innocent on what? When people say he's not innocent on what? He may not be, but what he not innocent on? What he's guilty of? You know what I'm saying? Some of the stuff, all of the stuff, is it does it have illegal merit? Because the way this man came out, he came out talking about money and how the deals were and him working on his love album and it's nominated for a Grammy and he won his publishing, his rights to stuff. That's what he came out with. He didn't come out, hey, I'm a victim of this. I seen too much crime. I don't want to work with this album and they hold it. He did not say that. So we need to pay attention because this is the channel that's going to pull out the truth and common sense of shit. We ain't going we ain't gonna to just go with salacious accusations anymore. We going to pull out truths because I don't do that over here. So let's listen. Uh, with my family just out working on this album. At what point I was running around with the, the hard drives the computer just to run the ball on this album to finish the production on it and make sure that this album came to you know a good project with good vibes you know just where it is right now um and just to be offered little to no participation in this is highly disrespectful i won't be that guy 20 30 years from now looking back saying I wish I'd done this. I'm going to do this now. Um, doing this situation is not easy. Taking Puff to court, suing him is not easy. I don't have the 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 monies that it's going to take to fight him in court. So I'm just asking, you know, if you if you in support, please. The link is in my bio to my GoFundMe. Um, the the money we go will go towards my attorney fees and to just make sure I'm keeping my head above water during the process. I really appreciate this. Thank you so much. Okay, so okay. So you complaining. Okay. 
Let me see. I'm checking my email some more because thank you, Harold, too. Thank you, Harold. Okay. Now, Harold. Hold on. Okay. So Harold said, okay, so this. Wait, I apologize. We did, we did this one. What's this one? Okay. So when there's another link. Okay. So let's look at the parties. Let's look at the parties. So this is when they on the boat. I want to get on the boat. Oh, no, uh, no, no. Okay. I can't play no music. They listen to me. I can't play no music. All right. So that's him. All right. So that's him in the black. All right. All right. This starting to make sense now. So they bumping music. They on the boat chilling. So this was good times. This was. All right. Little Rob, the perfect way to end the year and start a new one. Little Rob made it. So. Okay. So the question I have is when all this stuff happened. Like, if this guy is fabricating all this stuff, he damn sure need to go to jail. So 50 said, you sucking Lil Rod's dick. So is Lil Rod in touch with 50? Let's listen. Uh, what you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod dick? <laughs> How oh, it go? I want you to fit. Rod dick. So is this, is he making accusations per P, uh, 50 Cent? Is 50 Cent trying to pull an R. Kelly with little rod's help uh, against Diddy as they did with R. Kelly? Ooh, this is interesting. God damn. Oh, my God. Ooh, but didn't I tell you? Now, now, Ticket talking about it. Ooh, oh, I told y'all. I told you, men. I told y'all. Y'all think 50 Cent a win? Y'all, I'm going to end the poll. Y'all think 50 Cent a win, uh, win the fight between uh Stevie J and... uh. Diddy. He he thinks 50 supports Lil Rod allegations. Right. But he could have worked with each other. But I'm thinking, because I was thinking, like, why would Lil Rod put the you know what? That makes sense. That makes sense. 50 will you think 50 will win? Y'all don't think Stevie J can fight. We seen Stevie J fight a uh, little scrappy on Love and Hip Hop. Y'all said no. Y'all said no. He 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 gonna win. I want to see that um that hold on. I want to see that um. I want to finish watching that um party. Hold on. Y'all talking about some. Y'all talking about some um. Let me see. Okay, so he's saying. This this is what okay I got that I I seen this picture, but they smile he's smiling, and if you didn't like it you tell him nigga get off me he looking at it he read tell him nigga get your arms off me like that I don't play that shit he that's Cuba. I don't know. I don't think they saying that about Cooper either. Okay, I apologize. Okay, that's that's him. I don't want to hear him no more. Because he said, he said, you, you saying it's about the money. You saying it's about the money, but then you making up all these other allegations. It's not making sense to me. It's not making sense to me, y'all. Because if it's about the money, you should have sued him about the money. Why are you going to try to make a me too, making me too claims? Okay. 44. So let's see. Where the boys at? Hi. Where you 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 at? Hi
Okay, that's Lil Rod. Excuse me, I need the phones, guys. I need your phones. I need your phones. I need your phones. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Quincy, I know you have two phones, Quincy. Oh, there you go. That's what I love. Hey, still Quincy trying to be slick. Just glow. So proud of you, Just Glow. Look at that. Got all the phones. Do I have everybody's phones? So we got two cars. We got this car and the car over there. Those are his daughters, y'all. Everybody keeps talking. Them girls look young. Those are his daughters. God damn. He can't bag with all these people acting baby. That's Joe Miami. Yeah, I don't think that, I don't think they like her, y'all. They ain't say not one word to her. I they I don't think they like y'all Miami, but let's listen. That's y'all. That I, they damn sure don't they don't like her. I don't think they like her. They ain't saying shit to her. They just be like, like, oh girl. Like they just kept they just they was talking among themselves. Ooh. He said, are you on Lil Rod dick? Ooh, are you mad about Daphne? Ooh, it's going to get ugly. <laughs> we going to be here. But like I said, the freak off is not a crime. And if they was a freak off, then Pornhub need to be off the, the, the damn radar. Okay? There should have been no freak neek and all this and that. We, we not going to have you put all this stuff to take him down. Now you take him if he get taken down, it gotta be a crime. It can't be because he had a whole lot of girlfriends and he made a girl mad. It can't be because he had sex with a man or a woman. It can't be all that because that ain't a crime. Well, she, he made me order prostitutes. Cassie, I told y'all tell Cassie to take her ass to bed. That man of hers gonna take that hat all the millions she got from Keith P. Diddy. That white guy go divorce Cassie and take the half of that. And you know, white men. They fight for their children. All right. That's what I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Her and that man will divorce. He will, and he will take half because he's going to earn it. Right. Before she got all that millions from P. Diddy, she made it. Should have divorced her husband first. I'm just, I'm just keeping it a buck, you know, because you're going to give him half. Oh, yeah, he going to take it. Wipe me and known to take half. I'm done with your ass now. And I'll have custody of the kids. Yes, yes, sirree. Yes, sirree. I'm just, oh, Lord have mercy. Well, y'all, do you, the 50 and, 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 and Stevie J from the fight, I still don't see nothing. I don't see no crime in Diddy shit right now. I don't know what's what. I don't see no crime in it. And I'm not gonna allow. I'm. I'm just saying, you mother, you, you. Let me, let me calm down. Hold on. Y'all need to have some cultural obligation and make the government not give immunity to everybody and find the crime. Diddy, Diddy ain't innocent. That statement is a cliche. 
Nobody in the world is innocent. Where is it a crime in the law that he did? That's where it is. I don't know why black people say you ain't innocent. Ain't nobody innocent. Nobody in the world is innocent. Nobody but a baby. And innocent and guilty of what if we say that statement of innocence? But what we need to do is find out what is the crime. Because what y'all are alleging ain't a crime. What y'all alleging ain't a crime. Okay? They need to ban strip clubs, sex trafficking. Well, you know what they need to do? If, 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 <laughs> shit. So you mean tell me I'm going to have to not, uh, I'm going to have to close down my, I'm, I'm opening up a strip club for fat girls. You mean to tell me I got I can't open it up now? Shit. Y'all, y'all, me two people done fucked up my damn fat girl strip club I'm trying to open up in Vegas. Y'all like, man, y'all just fuck up shit for people. Damn. Now nah, I can't even get it because all this me too shit. But what I will say, I don't see no crime in nothing. I don't see no crime yet. I see publicity stunts by the government. I see slander. I see defamation. I see they try to keep his name in the media. They did Bill Cosby and R. Kelly the same way. So once we see that there is a trend that the media is doing, okay, the third time we need not, then now it's 50. Don't get mad at spitting fire for being right. 50 is kind of his karma too, though. I mean, she lying, but it is his karma too. I told them niggas to stick together. Whether you like them or not, you better stick together because it can be you. So, if you can stick together, it can be you because I'm telling you, let me see. Let me see. Let me let me let me end it on this note. Let me see. Uh, uh, let me see. Was it? Uh, okay. Well. Okay. <laughs> he just speaks My proper. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Enough no, man. Uh, you. you... Mm. Uh, you know I talk. That's a white boy. We got paid. Yo, what? Stunner, stunner. No, that's whack 100. Hold on. Mm, let me see. You looking for that? Oh. Him and his brothers is rats. See? Okay. Uh, Directional. You know, Vlad need to stop talking on black folks for real. And black people, I don't know when y'all gonna stop. Uh. Transporting pink cocaine for Diddy and Brandon Paul. Oh, let me see. It's eight. It's crazy. Well, I say, man, see the pad. Yeah, man, yeah, that's all over the news. I see. We see that. We watch that. And what's crazy is, what you know. So this is um, Wack One Hundred talking to Kales. Oh, cause we just been in the Jersey forever. Is is watch day. And I hope they don't. But if they detain him, that's when all nigga niggas motherfuckers gonna be lining up with their hand in there. So I'm saying, man, see the bad part about him. This is what I don't understand about this all this shit, motherfucker. If there was a time right where this was a play, this was y'all party. This was y'all nigga. And, and, like if you was um, a participant. Right, I mean, you of legal age. I don't understand what all the hoopla. All of a sudden, it's against the wheel. It's against the wheel, man. What so you just came back to three hundred parties, motherfucker? Against the wheel. <clears throat> all this shit. You got to damn it. Get a turn on your camera. Let a motherfucker tell you who they is. Put their ID up. Let a motherfucker tell you where they at. Because any given Sunday, right when a motherfucker want to go bad, they can extort you or cover the accusations. Shit, man, this shit is crazy, man. 
It's crazy. That's what I say, motherfuckers, motherfuckers gonna be out there laughing and, make, and making comedian jokes and doing all that other shit on the radio and everything else, but they ass could be next. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's what's so yeah, fucked up about it. It's so stupid. They're so stupid, they don't even realize the move that's going on. I mean, it's crazy, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, that's why I don't believe none of the shit. I mean, no, you, I tell told me them funny, up, bro. you can tell me about anybody in now. You can tell me uh, the, on the news the weather is, is the sky is blue. I'm not going to believe the shit, no. Because I'm listen, in it now. I know what they think. Yeah, like, listen, I told at, when it first started with Cassie, I said, yo, nigga, this is a stick up move. All the files that nigga, I just came out and said, hey, listen, these are my sexual preferences. Yes, I'm bi or whatever the fuck. And these right. motherfuckers been trying to extort me, and I'm tired of it. They know that I'm in the music industry and boom, boom, boom. Nigga, they would have ate her up and, and yeah. still, but, but now they using that. They using that against him. That, but now it's getting to a point to where, you know, it's getting to a point to where it's like, nigga, you, 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 you gonna have to say something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, he, not, but he, 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 ain't, he ain't flee though. As long as, you know. Nah, he ain't. Uh, they, nah, uh, nah, he ain't. They, they didn't raid it. You know, they ran up in his cribs, but you know. Yeah, I saw that. Crib, get, this how you know it's weak. You know, usually when they run up in a nigga house, they coming to get you too. Yeah. They look at, they still searching and looking. Like, that nigga ain't on the run. Or that, they ain't telling him to come turn himself in and no shit like that. So that's Kale's talking to whack 100 about p diddy he said hey they did it to me they can do it to you right now tasha k ass said whack 100 like they play it in the ass she worked with homeland security and she did it with uh you know r kelly okay and she did it with r kelly and then now she's sitting up there doing it with everybody else this is one of the reasons why tasha k is mad at Corey holcomb She's mad at Corey Holcomb because of the simple fact is he talked to R. Kelly. She, you know what I'm saying? And that's why she don't like whack and everything else. You know what I'm saying? That's why uh, she don't like the channel Spitting Fire, okay, which I understand because, you know, I'm for comment. You just not finna do what you're doing, right, without me exposing and everything, and I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do the shit. I'm going to expose the shit and stuff like that because it's just wrong. It's just motherfucking wrong. And uh, it's crazy. It's so crazy. But you know what? These people sit up there and say and do what they want to do and do all kinds of shit, right? And now they find themselves in the same predicament. And R. Kelly said it when he was talking to WAC 100. Yeah, they laughing and they making jokes and they got all this going on, but it can be their asses too. And he's right. And I said that before even he said the shit. Hell, Kel's got that shit for me. I said that shit for he said that shit. When you know what I'm saying? I said that shit before he said that shit. Right? So it is what it is. It's one of those crazy ass moments. Where I feel sorry for men. I feel sorry for black men because they don't even know when to stick together. The bloggers, other celebrities, they just they just horrible. Like, damn, they'll take each other down and help them people take them down. And you don't realize, damn, you know, you know your ass can be next, right? Like, you know your ass can be next. Mmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. so let's just take a uh listen but felt Please. told him i said oh, you know he's metaphoric and so, this is what here it is and i want whoever so this is when i talked to him last year or whatever i'm gonna talk to him again soon so let's get it okay yeah my i had to have my husband deal with that working your car won't start right playing pre all all this not your ass only focus on that and i am not going to deter from that don't don't okay don't so, and, 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 and i'm gonna advocate for I, that too i'm advocating for that too but I so i talked to kale's one I, i'm gonna talk to him again 
and I'm I want to know how he's doing and things like that. Okay, because it's it's just going crazy. But I I want to I want to really know what he feel about uh the Diddy situation, and uh I want to know what he feeling about the Diddy situation, and um what's going on, and how now Fifty Cent is being brought up on probably maybe be brought up on some charges because his ex is accusing him of being abusive. You Lunell always talk bullshit. Lunell is her fat, ugly old ass have to. Okay. Fuck Lunell. And what she, she been talking bullshit. She go, she go along with any and everything. Somebody goddamn say about somebody. Shit, ain't nobody thinking about Lunell ass. She's just trying to get her next goddamn um feature. And uh, and, 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 and have somebody she ain't she ain't even an A-list celebrity. Her C list ass. She can go ahead on. Don't nobody give a damn about what she's talking about. Don't nobody give a damn about what she's talking about. All she is is the go along, get along gang, and she going with the masses to keep a check coming. Shit, ain't nobody thinking about no damn Lunel. Okay, so. And she ain't that much, she ain't that funny of a comedian either. You know what I'm saying? She ain't that funny of a comedian, so I don't give a damn two shit the fuck what she talking about. All right, thank y'all for tuning in. We got, we, oh my God. What y'all think about this 50 Cent and this Stevie J? The beef, woo, the beef, oh my God. And 50 Cent is now con- is now accused of the R word. Mm, mm, mm. Is it karma? Put it in the chat if you think 50 Cent baby mama accusing him of R word. Is it karma? Or is it, um, or is it, uh, is it karma? If you put it in one in the chat if you think that's 50 Cent karma. Put a one in the chat, because he talked a lot of shit about a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I don't wish it on him, but that could be karma on his ass, though. You know what I'm saying? You believe in everything people saying, now they saying it on you. That's karma. I believe so, too, Cynthia. That's some karma for his ass. Yeah, that's karma. And now he know. I don't believe it, but it's still karma. He let his ego get the best of him, yeah. Yeah, he getting it. Do y'all think that his her, her allegations will go anywhere? Like, do you think people will take it seriously? Or you think they're going to sweep it up under the rug? I think they're going to sweep it up under the rug because it's 50. 50 trolling who they saying is a, a monster. So I think the powers that be going to stand behind them. Cynthia said karma coming for a lot of them. I believe that too. And and it whether it's true or not, they got what they deserve. They thought they was untouchable. Mm-hmm. Thought they was untouchable. You don't believe the R I don't believe the R word on none of them. I ain't finna do no selective outrage. I don't believe the R word on none of them. As rich as they is and everything else, they got women willing to do anything to be with them. And that ain't ch- going to change. The Me Too movement came out and said you can sue. Now all of them suing. So I, I ain't believing none of them. But because I believe sometimes women put themselves in situations because they want to live a lifestyle. I do believe that. I know that. I ain't going to say I believe it. I know it. I knew, I knew women who did that. You know, they was like, well, shoot, I got a house, a car, or this or that. I'm staying. I'm like, shit, I can't deal with all that bullshit. I cannot deal with all that bullshit. Not me. I'm too old for that. Not go deal with that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Not go deal with it. Not at all. If you would like, make sure y'all um 
support my other channel, No Muting the uh, No Muting the Mib. All right, I sit up there and have that in there. Thank you all for joining the channel of Spitting Fire. I appreciate it for you subscribing. I know I got some subscribers, right? I know I do. I just know I do. I just know I do. I just know y'all gave me the benefit of the doubt today. And if so, if you like to support the channel, you can always cash out Spitting Fire. Y'all get on me all the time about putting my cash app up here. So I did, okay? I be forgetting because I be just wanting to get in my commentary. Thank Darnell Cooper for the cash app. All right, Garnell Cooper for the cash app. So you know, okay, you're going to definitely be in the next thank you video. Make sure you check it out. All right, because he gave us $50. You know what? I'm going I'm to do a, a sponsor of the channel too. I think that would be good on the channel, Spin Fire, doing a sponsor of the channel. All right, so I'm going to say that Garnell Cooper sponsored this channel, this, this, this channel tonight. He sponsored it. All right, thank you all for tuning in. I'm your girl, Spin Fire. Fire out. He say, she say, we say, I say Hearing out them points of views when I see it my way Yes it goes, yes it knows, maybe so's, probably not Shoulds and coulds, do's and don'ts, your woods and wants is how you rock Politicians and religions on your house or are you ready? Is you married, is you single, met an interest when you mingle Turn out to be someone you into, so how long before the bed get wrinkled? When they tripping, is it time out or do you whip them? Opinions and decisions, hunches, intuitions May or may not get it, cause people's experience different Check the prejudice at the door It's the time you give the flow Tell the truth if it's sweet or sour Cause the hour we spitting that fire, fire.